Josh here. And I'm Michelle. And we are Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead. And today we are talking about should you haggle in port when buying things. And this is Cruise Shatter 50. Whoa! 50 episodes. I know. That's pretty nuts. It's been a pretty positive series for us. People seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, if you don't enjoy it, then why are you here? Get <laughs> That's out. That's I say. Bye! <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh... Should you haggle in port when buying stuff? Right? Yes. What do you think, Josh? Yes, I, I I do. Michelle is timid, but actually in the last couple of cruises, she's broken out. She is broken out. Because I'm a, you know, when we go around town here and stuff to like flea market and stuff, I've always haggled. But she never does. She'll just pay the price. But now, she kind of broke out of her shell and she's haggling. I think that's something that vendors expect you to do in yes. port. Yes, and so I feel like their stuff is always uh, priced a little high. Now, I'm uh, the the shops, like the stores. Yeah, don't haggle there. I don't really haggle there. I'm talking more like the outdoor markets and different things like that. Yes, I'm not talking about like if you go into port and there's a shop, there's like a store, and you're gonna be like, oh, can I get two Snicker bars for a dollar fifty instead of two dollars? Like, come on. No, you don't do that there. Yeah. Uh, and if you do, let us know below. Um, uh, we did go with my parents, though, to the Bahamas. Nassau. Nassau. And I would say my parents are probably... And you went to the... Well, my parents are not for haggling. They would rather just pay the price because they said that's how people make their livelihood. Right. They would rather just pay. They don't care about haggling. So I said, oh, I'd like to haggle. <laughs> so I haggled for them. Right. And she got a good deal. Yes. And you did haggle a couple other times. Yeah. For these people that carved these wood things. Mm -hmm. And what did you say? Well, he had just they they had just sold us one for a cheaper price because we haggled that down. Yeah. He didn't know that his wife had just we were just haggling. He said, "Oh, I'll give you this for a good price." Blah blah blah. And I said, he told me the price, and I said, "I thought you were gonna give me a good price." <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and I grabbed his arm like this, and I said, "Hey, man." And I haggled really well in Mexico. And, you know, they always try to say, oh, this is the last one. Very special. Very special so, one. Or this is the last one. You know, it's not the last one. They got more in the bag. They 18 of them. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, no. And it's, he's like, oh, handmade bracelets. But I, they're not really handmade, I don't think. No. But, uh, I mean, they could be. I don't know. But uh, he's like, oh, $20. I'm like, no. And I think I ended up getting both for, like... I don't know how much. Twelve. Twelve, yeah. Instead, we started at twenty. I had twenty down to for 20. one. Yeah, it was twenty for one. So he wanted forty or something, and I was like, no. I ended up talking them down eight or six dollars for each. Yeah. So, they, like I said, they weren't worth anything, but they're cool. Uh, actually, we have them. I think no, I don't know if we have them, but. So, yeah, we haggle in Mexico for sure. We haggle in all the ports that we've been to so far. So. Yeah, yep. Ex except if it's like a store, like the duty-free store, we don't do that right, in. Like, right, Stuff like that, we definitely don't haggle in. Let us know if you we guys do. We don't go into the diamond store and be like... <laughs> well, they do haggle in diamond stores. Do they? Right? Oh, yeah. we don't. I don't, though. Well, yeah, but we don't go we in don't there. We don't go in there. There's no reason so. to go into a diamond store. Right, Michelle? Nope. <laughs> so, yeah. But okay, guys, let us know if you guys haggle in port. If you don't, if you don't feel comfortable with it, if you just pay the price. Sorry, I'm hitting my hands again. If you just pay whatever, like her parents. Um, personally, I think that's kind of stupid. But that's just like me. That. Well, they just think, you know, that's what they make their living off of. But like so. we said, we we feel like they Inflate purposely... Inflate the price. That's right. Because they're tourists and, you yeah. know. And they will haggle with you. I want to say thank you for this topic from the degenerate cruisers so yep. they gave us our topic for the week uh so their strategy is trying to get things down to 50 percent of the original price right so that's pretty cool uh i don't know if we well yeah we've gotten things down that we just low, said that not, yeah we've gotten definitely for sure so let us know what you guys do and what how you haggle and we did haggle for coconut drinks too we did in Roatan. yeah uh we With got all yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did. We 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 haggled coconut drinks. We said they're like, oh, two for fifteen, and we're like, no, we're not paying that. And he's like, you're not paying two for fifteen. And I said, no. And he's like, well, how about two for twelve? And I said, two for ten. You got a deal. He's like, oh, okay. 
So I was like, Jeez. yeah, haggle the guy just we're chopping cheap. he's chopping coconuts and we're <laughs> haggling him. So but okay and those were sick anyway. Yeah, ew. Okay guys. Alright, let us know in the comments below if you haggle and if you do, do you have a goal? We don't have a goal, it's just to get it cheaper. Right. Okay. Bye. Bye.